Hello, my name is Lizzie, and this is Lizzie's Literary Life, and today we are doing a puzzle. I actually already did the puzzle, and I'm filming this intro after, but you know, it's fine. Um, so for Christmas, my girlfriend's parents got me this puzzle. It's um like a bucket list puzzle so it's in a bucket which is fun and it's 50 must read books and it looks well it looks like this um except for the cat bite in the corner but that's not in the puzzle um even though there is a cat in the puzzle uh yeah so i decided i was going to do this puzzle and time lapse film me doing it and then take you through all of the books and tell you like what I've read, what I want to read, what's on my shelves, um, and tell you what I thought of this list as like a bucket list, 50 must read books. So I actually started this, tried to start the puzzle in the evening one time after work um, for like, you know, an hour. I tried to work on it um, last week and I, I did it and then I covered it over because I had to like go to bed and I will show you what happened. You want to show everyone what you did? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I basically was like, clearly I cannot leave this puzzle alone in this house. Um, so I decided to wait until I was on, I'm on February break vacation from school. And um, I decided to marathon it, sit down and do the puzzle all in one sitting, um, which I did. And I guess I will show you that now. Okay, so this took me about three and a half hours. I literally have not stood up. Like I've just been, <laughs> the only time I paused was to, cause I finished my audio book and had to put on a new one. Um, so yeah, three and a half hours, here it is, <laughs> I did it. Um, and we are gonna go through all of the books. We're gonna go from the top left. So I guess we'll just go for it. Hello, I'm right here. Um, Starting with The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. Um, this is a book that I definitely read the Great Illustrated Classics version of when I was a kid, but I haven't actually read, and I definitely would be interested in reading it. Um, a Wrinkle in Time, I have read. Le Petit Ponce, I have read in English and tried to read in French. Um, the Fault in Our Stars, I've read. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, I have not read, but I would be down to read it. Charlotte's Web, I've read this one. <laughs> I technically, well, I have read it, but we don't, we don't acknowledge it. Um, the Handmaid's Tale, I've read. Uh, Dawn by Octavia Butler. That's not the Octavia Butler I would expect to be on here, but I have not read it, and I definitely am interested in, in reading some Octavia Butler, so maybe I'll make it this one. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, I have not read, but you know, sure. <laughs> um, the in Is it just Invisible Man or The Invisible Man? Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison. 
I actually don't know anything about. So, you know, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll read it. If I try to read all of these books, I guess I will. Um, Pride and Prejudice, we have read and I reread recently. The Great Gatsby, I read in school. Um, the Leopard, <laughs> I like couldn't read that for a second. The Leopard by Giuseppe di Lampedusa, I have not even heard of. So, I don't know. Um, the Color Purple I have read, Pachinko by Min Jin Lee, I have not read, but I'm like imminently interested in reading it. Um, Native Sun I have not read, The Hobbit I have read, um, Catch 22 in 1984 I have not read, though I did read Animal Farm in school, um, and I'm interested in reading 1984. Uh, Their Eyes Were Watching God I read in school, um, Zora Neale Hurston is a Barnard alum, so, but I read... I read it in high school before I got to Barnard, um, but I'm, I'm actually interested in rereading it because I feel like I didn't really give it, like, a properly appreciate it in 12th grade. Um, Never Let Me Go, Kazuo Ishiguro, I have read and loved. Um, On the Road, I have not read. I guess, I don't know, it's not something I would right away be interested in, but maybe. Girl, Women, Other, I've read and loved. The Vanishing Half, again, read and loved. Um, the Wind Up Bird Chronicles, again, same with Octavia Butler. I'm like not the Murakami that I would expect to be on here, maybe, but I, and I'm a little hesitant to read Murakami, but I, I guess I could try it, you know, maybe this one I can try. Um, Tales of the City, I have not read. Who is that? Armistead, Mar. Marupon? I don't even know but it's a pretty I mean these covers are all like illustrated by this puzzle artist and I really like a lot of them and I like this one um Crime and Punishment I have not read but I have it on my shelf and it's like kind of a bucket list book Little Fires Everywhere I read Jane Eyre I have read what's this The Grapes of Wrath I have not read but I would be interested in it um Ceremony I don't know this book Leslie Marmon Silco I don't know this book but yeah beloved i have read i feel like i didn't properly appreciate it because i like listened to it on audiobook probably while i was doing puzzles um and i listened to it kind of fast and i just feel like i didn't really absorb it but um to kill a mockingbird i read in ninth grade except i didn't actually finish it i got almost all the way to the end and i like wrote the essay and i like got an a on the essay because it was ninth grade and i never actually finished the book so that i need to remedy <laughs> Um, Zadie Smith, White Teeth, I have not read, but I definitely want to. I have not read any Sherlock Holmes. Um, I s have seen a play, um, but I, I would read some Sherlock Holmes, sure. Um, Little Women, absolutely adore. A Thousand Spend Splendid Sons, I definitely want to read. Um, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. It, I feel like it's an interesting choice to have be like the central book that she's reading. I haven't read it. I don't really know much about it, but... I would be interested. Um, Water for Elephants. I don't know this book. Who is this by? The author's not on there. But I don't know this book, but I would read it. 100 Years of Solitude, I like imminently want to read. Um, the God of Small Things, I have on my shelf, but I haven't read it. Life of Pi, like, sure, okay. I would read it. I'm not super um, interested, but like, okay. Um, to the Lighthouse, I read Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf, and I liked it. Um, so I'm, I guess I'm interested in reading this one. Um, and Frank, I read in school, the book thief was my favorite book in like eighth grade. And I was actually just taught cause I teach eighth grade and the ELA teacher, the ELA class is, um, is watching the movie currently or was last week. Um, cause they're talking about the Holocaust and I was like, that was my favorite book. So that's fun. I definitely want to reread it. The Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan. I have no idea what this is, but I like these little squigglies. Um, oranges are not the only fruit. I have not read, don't know anything about it. And we've got a couple more. Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. I absolutely want to read. And High Fidelity by Nick Hornby. I don't know anything about. So there's supposedly 50 books on here. Let's see how many I have read. Not gonna count with the Willows. One, two, three, 
four, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21, 21 out of 50. That's, I, I feel like that's not bad for like, I'm not halfway through my life, so I am not halfway through this book of, this puzzle of bucket list books. I definitely, I think it would be fun to make this like an actual bucket list since I have this puzzle. I think it's a decent list. Uh, maybe I'll talk more about that in the outro, which you're going to see right now. So 21 out of 50, not bad. I feel like not bad. Yeah. I, I'm interested in reading a lot of the books that I haven't read. Um, some of them wouldn't necessarily be on my list, but I could put them on my list for this puzzle, for the purpose of this puzzle. Like I'd be fine with that. There's none that I'm like really opposed to reading. There are some that I'm hesitant, um, wouldn't necessarily choose for myself, but I, I'm, I'm happy to, you know, maybe I'll do an update in five years, see how, see how many I've done of this puzzle, do the puzzle again and do an update video. If I'm still doing YouTube in five years, probably not. Um, so yeah, what do I think of this as a list? I think it has a good mix of classics and contemporary fiction, which I think is good. Um, like it's got like Ishiguro and Britt Bennett and um, Bernadine Evaristo on there. Like there are some good contemporary writers um, that like books that were published in the last couple of years. And I, I appreciate that. Um, it's also got like, I don't know. I feel like the fact that it has the fault in our stars in it is kind of fun. Um, so it's like not just a list of the white man classics, which I appreciate. Um, some of the... I mean, I don't know. I don't really have much to, to say about it, I guess. I think it's, it's you know, it's a list of 50 books and there's always going to be stuff left out if you make a list of 50 books. But I think they did a pretty good job of um, including a variety of stuff. So that's good. Um, and I don't think I have anything else to say in this video. Um, I enjoyed this. I enjoyed doing the puzzle. It was a good three and a half hours well spent. If you were curious what I was listening to, I listened to, for about two and a half hours, I listened to, um, what's it called? You Never Forget Your First by Alexis Ko, uh, which is a nonfiction biography of George Washington um, that I was reading for the Magic Treehouse Read Along. Um, and I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Full review coming in my wrap up at the end of February. Um, and then I finished that and I started listening to A Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson, which I'm really enjoying so far. I listened to about, you know, 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and yeah, that's what I was listening to. I'm excited to get back to that. Um, and it was great to just do a puzzle again. I feel like I haven't, because I do puzzles for my Jigsaw TBR videos, but they're like time pressure and they're smaller puzzles, only 500 pieces. So it was fun to do like a full thousand piece puzzle. And maybe I'm like now in the puzzle mood. I have a couple other puzzles here that I haven't done. So maybe I will do another puzzle later this week. Um, but yeah. It was also a well-made puzzle. I felt like the pieces, it was structurally a good puzzle, um, like not cheaply made. So I appreciate that. I've done some bad puzzles. Also, I love that in all of, like there were pieces all over the house that I like grabbed and tried to bring back. And I was so sure there was gonna be a piece missing at the end that I would have missed one that was like in the bedroom somewhere or whatever. I didn't, I got them all. So that's, that's good and I appreciate it. <laughs> so good job, cats. Um, there actually was an extra piece. Sometimes they'll give you a duplicate piece and I did get a duplicate piece and I was like confused by it. I was like, how do all these strawberries fit? And then I was like, no, these two strawberry pieces are the same. Um, that's all I have to say. Like, comment, and subscribe. I thought this was a fun video, so I hope you did too. Um, and I will see you in the next one soon or maybe not soon. You never know. Bye!